Do you accept that mercury is a poison and it can have damaging effects on the brain? Elemental mercury is, is, is a hazardous substance and obviously, you know, its use is, is, is reduced in, in many areas at the moment. Do you accept that once in our mouths, mercury vapour is released? Uh, there's a very, very tiny amount of, of mercury vapour released when amalgam fillings are placed and then again when they are removed. But actually when they're there, very, you know, virtually no mercury vapour given off once they're actually placed. Right, OK, but I mean, you know, clearly there is mercury vapour being released from our fillings all of the time. I'm not sure that's true. Not, not measurably. Well, actually, scientific studies have supported what we found, that mercury vapour given off by amalgam fillings is measurable. Uh, hang on a second, because for the average person with mercury amalgam fillings, it's about 10 micrograms a day. I don't know the exact figure, but it's certainly it's a level that's well, well, well below at the level which would actually cause any general harm. But it's the number one source of mercury in the human body now. Um, I'm not sure that's actually true. Well, it is true, because this is... I've got a report here from the European Commission, I don't know if you've seen this, but it says the largest source of mercury exposure for most people in developed countries is inhalation of mercury vapour from dental amalgam. So I, d I didn't know what, 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 the, what the actual breakdown of source is. It's a very, very tiny part. Uh, it does not reach levels which are clinically significant. But when you're telling me that it's a known neurotoxin, it can damage my brain, why do I want any of that in my body? It's about risk of benefit, and the benefit is that this is a durable filling material that has enabled millions of people over many years to retain their teeth. And the health benefit of that are clearly, clearly illustrated that people can eat a better diet, are better nourished, have a better quality of life. I totally get the benefit of amalgam being long-lasting when it's in my mouth, but I still had questions about whether low-level mercury release over years is going to make us ill. Could the chief executive of the British Dental Association reassure me? Do you accept that mercury is a toxin? Uh, yes. Do you accept that it goes into our bodies and it's released from amalgam fillings? Uh, well, there's no real evidence that, uh, that mercury does cause any problems in that way. The EC, their, their latest document says the largest source of mercury exposure for most people in developed countries is inhalation of mercury vapour from dental amalgam. Mm -hmm. But you're saying it can't get into the body? Well, it says exposure to mercury vapour, and mercury vapour, whilst you're having fillings done, obviously there is mercury vapour around. What I'm saying to you is that the, the long lasting remaining residues of mercury aren't shown to, to, to be present in people's bodies. Right, but the actual vapour coming off the mercury filling... At the are, you time of the, are you saying the BDA situation is that can only happen when the filling is put in or the filling is removed? Yeah. So it can't happen when you brush, it can't happen when you chew? That's right. Yeah, but I mean, you've got to look at the quantities involved here and the significance of... of no, but you just told me it was zero. <laughs> OK. Well, is it la, zero la, la, or la, 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 la. Is it zero or not? No, I'm not, I'm not going to do this. If you're going to try and trap me, I'm not doing it. I'm not it. trapping you. You told me that there was no... No, no. You told me that there was no mercury vapour released from an amalgam filling. No, I'm not doing this. You're not doing what? Answering the questions that we told you we were going to ask you? No, you, you didn't tell me you were going to do it that way. Do what what way? No. I told you it was going to be about amalgam fillings. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about the safety of amalgam fillings. And your answer is... No, I'll, I'll answer you serious questions if you're going to ask me... That is a serious question. No, all right, OK. OK, correct. the question is... I was finding it hard to see why two important officials seem to want to play down the generally accepted fact that we get a constant low dose of mercury from our fillings. Surely that's the first step to understanding whether or not dental amalgam may cause harm. After some discussion, the chief executive of the BDA agreed to have another go at the question. Do you accept that mercury vapour is given off from your fillings? Uh, yes, in, in very, very small quantities. OK. Do you think that's harmful? Um, none of the studies that we've seen have shown any connection at all with any of the very, very tiny amounts of mercury vapour that come from amalgam fillings on, on, on any systemic conditions. <laughs> Mainstream dentists point to two major international studies looking at 500 children, which they say gave amalgam a clean bill of health. 
but our current potential exposure to mercury is a real worry for some regulators. <laughs>